Hey guys, welcome back. In today's furniture makeover, I'm gonna show you how we customized a cute little bench for my friend's five and six year old kids. If you have young kids, grandkids, or even niece and nephews, you're definitely gonna wanna see how painting furniture is a great way to customize something for them. Let's get started. If you're new here, my name's Diana with First Rain Furniture, where we save old, neglected furniture and give it a new life and another chance. If you're looking for easy DIY projects and furniture flipping tips to either save money or make money, you're in the right place. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button, click the little bell, and select all notifications so that you can be part of the First Rain Furniture family. If you've been in the First Rain family for a while, you might be having deja vu right now. This is another little bench like the one I painted a while back for the church. I'm starting the same way, sanding away any rough edges, especially since there will likely be little fingers poking around this bench once it's complete, I want to make sure to smooth out any sharp edges. Side note, if this is a new DIY project for you and you're following along to repaint a kid's chair, bench, or painting furniture in general, always make sure to clean your item thoroughly before you begin. Prep work is so important in the final outcome of your project. For items I buy at thrift shops, garage sales, or Facebook marketplace, I clean them with crud cutter or even Dawn dish soap and water. I'll link a video in the description if you want to see more detailed prep work. For this bench, it was still pretty much unused, kept indoors, and it's made of particle board and MDF, so I didn't want to wet it too much. Just a soft cloth to get rid of the dust. Now we're spraying on the first coat. This is a bare premium plus paint. Easy to grab at your local Home Depot, perfect for any home DIYer. It has a built-in primer and the surface of this bench is quite porous, so I don't have any issues or worries about the paint not sticking. I'm using a bright white, four thin coats with drying time in between. Pro tip, whenever you paint furniture, whether by brush or paint sprayer, it's usually best to do thin coats and slowly build up coverage rather than one thick coat that could show brush strokes or turn into a drippy mess. I had a lot of little fuzzies in between coats, so I wanted to show y'all what to do if this happens to you. Make sure you wear your respirator and protect those lungs and go ahead and sand those bad boys right off. If you've made it this far, thank you so much for sticking around. I try to make sure I'm giving you useful information, entertainment, and most of all, another reason to smile today. You are amazing and I'm trying my best to earn your subscription to First Strain Furniture. I'd love for you to be part of our growing community. So if you're ready, then come on over, hit that like button, subscribe, and leave me a comment down below. I love reading and answering every comment, so keep them coming, my friends. Now I'm measuring out the halfway point where I'll be taping off. This little bench is going to the cutest brother and sister duo you ever saw, and I'm going to be giving them each their own customized side of the bench. Luke is six years old, a big football fan, and Italy is five years old and loves hearts and unicorns and all things pink. So you'll see later in the video how you can add these special customized touches to your furniture too. So I'm starting off with this really light pink, painting the center beam and getting the details inside those adorable heart cutouts. Also, you may notice this little injury. I noticed after we painted that there was a split in the wood here, so I used some wood filler and was just waiting for it to dry so I could paint it later. Back to the light pink. 
the more I look at it, the more I realized that I messed up. I decided I really want a more saturated pink, so I custom mixed one and tried again. Ah, there we go. Much better. And of course, I have to take care of every little detail. Now it's time for Luki's side. I love this bright pastel blue color, which is the perfect contrast to the bright new pink for his sister. I went through the same hours of detail work as the pink side, getting it into all the nooks and crannies and voila. Don't you just love the satisfying tape removal when you paint? Then we sealed the bench with four coats of polycrylic for extra durability. Okay, so remember I said we were going to customize these to each child? We'll check out the final reveal to see what I did with my Cricut Maker and some vinyl stickers. Well guys, that's it for this video. I hope you guys were inspired to do a little furniture makeover of your own. If you enjoyed this video and are not yet part of the First Rain family, I would love to personally invite you to like and subscribe for more fun furniture flips and DIYs. And if you'd like to help out our channel, check out our links in the description, buy us a coffee, or check out our Amazon wishlist. We would love to receive some happy mail from you guys. Be sure to put who it's from so you can get a shout out in our next video. Let me know in the comments below if you've ever personalized a piece of furniture for a friend or loved one and what you did. I'd love to hear about it. Check out our other videos for more inspiration and thank you so much for watching. And as always, stay blessed.